Hello folks, time for another video and shave. Well, if you can hear from my background, it's raining pretty hard here today in New Jersey. So I was like, <clears throat> what am I going to shave with today? I do need to shave. Got a, you know, a couple days of growth. Forgot to take the battery out of my clock. So uh, hold on one second. Let's pull that battery out. Oh, so we don't hear tick, tick, tick along with the rain. Okay, so, so this is kind of that funky, really cool this morning too. And it's the first day that my kids go back to actual physical school. It's only for two days a week and then the rest of the week is virtual. But took them in this morning and uh, it's cold. I'm still wearing shorts. I think it was like 50 some degrees. But uh, I felt like something a little different today. And with all those awesome soaps that uh, my buddy Josh sent me, I came across the scent that I really dig. Um, I do have other soaps that are tobacco based, but this one was a very nice tobacco with vanilla. Now this is from the uh, Highland Soap Company out of British Columbia, right there. And it's a uh, Havana. Vieja, 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 which basically means old Havana. If you look up Vieja alone, it just says like old woman. But when you combine it with Havana and then Vieja, it's old Havana. So I learned a little bit there and a little bit of language. And uh, this is in a nice, uh, what is this, one ounce or two ounces? It's a nice little container. Uh, and the soap, I'll tell you what, is... Mm, it's tobacco and vanilla and it's just like so like there such a nice refined tobacco it's a nice like almost tootsie roll color a brownish and it whips up a tan a lather if you look here in the captain's choice bowl there that my buddy Wes sent me it kind of goes great with the bowl and I picked a brush today that my buddy Josh sent me it's uh, from Wild West Brushworks. Actually, let me throw my specs on because I don't want to put this coin upside down because this coin is really nice. Yeah, it's definitely from Wild West Brushworks. Love that coin. And it goes along with the bowl perfect. And underneath that awesome lather is a, uh, looks like to me to be a 22 or a 24 millimeter uh, plus soft style knot. And I actually went to uh, the Etsy page of Wild West Brushworks and I found this brush um, from about a year ago and it's called the Dolce. Very awesome brush. And I took the ca Captain's Choice Ball, whipped it up nice and it's kind of a nice tan color lather there which is cool and razor today I did something a little funky josh also sent me a razor rock mamba now what i did was i took the handle and i turned it upside down and you'll see because it, the handle has a a knob that you can take off let me see if i could actually unscrew it. i did screw it in a little tight but there is a bottom knob and i kind of screwed it in a little bit too tight but this knob on the bottom was on the top. And, I, and it's the same thread size, so I turned it around. And let's see if we can see the... Uh... Boy, I'm like blind today. And it's kind of dark in my bathroom because the sun's out. And I mean, I got my front light on here, but let me just show you. Yeah, so it's the Razor Rock Mamba. Made in Canada. And I don't know if my camera will pick that up or not. Let me hold it this way. Because there is no overhang on this. And you can see. But I did take the handle and I flipped it. I took this knob off, which used to be on the bottom. I kind of, it feels a little more grippier that way. Not that it wasn't grippy before, but just playing around. And blade in here today. Oh, this is the uh, this isn't the 70 the 0.70 blade of that mamba 
This is the other one. I forget the blade gap, but this isn't the the 70 blade gap. This is the uh, other one. I think it's 50 something. But I'll leave the link to it down in the description. And blade that's in there is the Chroma Diamant. And there we have it. All right, let's get the shave cruising before the rain totally takes us over today. Yes, yeah, so I was. Um, I went on the Highland Springs Soap Company's website to scope them out. I've heard of them before, but I've never tried a soap from them before. And they got a cool story. They're out of British Columbia. Mary and Chris. And in the about section, if you go to their website, which I'll leave the link down below, you can scope out their story. All right. Wow, this is a soft knot. I really like this brush. I'm not a fan usually of like smaller knots, but this size knot, whether it be a 22 or a 24, it's looking like it's a 22 millimeter to me, but I can't be 100% sure. I forgot to ask Josh, but it's a plus soft style knot very soft but it's perfect for the captain's choice bowl it fits like a glove wow the soap smells spectacular and it, ingredients oh yeah let me pop up the ingredients because it has great ingredients let me pop them up now boom good ingredients I believe I read on the website that Mary is a chemist. So, that always is good if a soap maker has a chemist background. Or at least I think so, anyhow. Sorry about the pitter patter of the rain. It's just been raining crazy here today. All right, so we'll go with the Razorac Mamba. With the Chroma Diamant with a few days growth. Wow, that is smooth. There's also no overhang on this razor in case anybody's Wondering, there's zero overhang. And it loads a little different too. The posts are actually not on the top cap. The posts on the Mamba are actually on the bottom plate. So you load it kind of upside down. Told you I was gonna have all kind of new content. My buddy Josh sending me those awesome care packages. Wow, hear that rain. Yeah, my bathroom, for some reason, is the only skylight in my house that isn't made from glass. It's made from, I think, Lexan. So it's loud when it rains. I have skylights in my living room and my kitchen, and they are, I'm assuming glass, because they don't make any noise when it rains. I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to feel my face in a second, but... So far.
this has been one of the smoothest razors I've ever tried. At least on the first pass. Maybe different if I go against the grain. Wow. Definitely mowed it down. It definitely did cut. That's why I like, you know, trying all kinds of different razors. I mean, I love my Rockwell. I love my Rex Ambassador. And, you know, they're pretty much all the razors I have. But it, you know... Sometimes you want to try, and I'm not saying that you have to own, like, 50 razors, but I'm like, you know, I at least do, because I do have a YouTube channel, so. Folks want to see me shave with different things, I'm sure. Wow. This razor's got a good weight on it, too. And I like it when I flip the handle. Normally, the handle goes the other way in that little ball at the end there screwed into the top I just turned it around it's nice because you could uh, take that little bottom piece off if you want a shorter handle I like the handle on my razors a little bit longer just because I got like I guess chubby fingers I don't know <laughs> so all right that was a very very enjoyable first pass the residual slickness on that soap on the Havana Via, huh? Very nice. From Highland Spring Soap Company. Or HSSC. That's good. That's good slickness. And it whips up nice. It does have like a little bit of a uh, tan color when you whip it up. So you might want to be careful if you're using a white brush. I'm not sure if it stains. I know some soaps with vanilla in it stain some brushes, but I really haven't come across that. I have a lot of soaps from Sterling with vanilla. And, you know, they're a brownish in color, but I haven't had any stain any not, so I'm just giving you a little heads up in case you have a Maybe like a white brush, like a white bristle brush that it may stain. I don't know. I'll tell you what, this soap is the perfect scent for today. Just I don't know, it's raining, so that tobacco scent is very nice. And it's tobacco with uh, vanilla. So, yeah. It's very nice. I'm not a seasonal scent guy, but I guess if you think about it, this could be a fall scent. I know traditionally most fall scents are like a pumpkin spice or Something of that nature. But I like tobacco and I like it year round. I think it's going to rain for the next couple of days here. I'm actually surprised that my son wasn't like a little more apprehensive this morning because I know he wasn't like really into schlepping back into school. He kind of likes the ritual because he gets done early. He jumps on his computer early in the morning. He signs in. He gets his work. And he does it quickly. Wow, is that a train I hear outside? All kind of noises today. I 
I'll tell you what, this was really smooth. I'm really impressed with the uh, Razorak Mamba. With the turn the handle upside down. I don't know what the handle options are on a Mamba. If there are any, I think there is. I really didn't scope it out. I just went on the website just to see what the blade gap was. And I forgot what it is on this. I think it's in the 50s, like .50 something. I know they also make a point. 70 this is not the 70 all right let's drain that sea monster let's do a little cold water rinse good slickness on that soap on the, on the Havana via via Old Havana. Great scent. And I know there's a story behind this soap, so you should go to the website, which I'll leave the link, of course, down below and scope it out. I'm always up for a story. Some guys don't give two poops about stories behind soaps. I like it because, hey, well, you know, it's cool. But a story behind a soap is always good. Some guys are like, I just want to know if it's slick and blah, 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 blah. I like some stories. Little Lancaster towel. The soap, the soap, the water magnet. Nice and squeaky if you rub it on yourself. <laughs> I used to just pat it, but if you actually do rub, you get the squeaks. stuff there Lancaster towel who knows when it's gonna come back out okay so that was the Razor Rock Mamba with the chroma diamond on his first use and that was Highland Spring Soap Company Havana Viaha good stuff Mm, smells so good. Mmm. And that was the Wild West Brushworks. Their Dolce handle. That's so cool. Love that coin. You can get the coin, I think, in a star or a cactus, I think. When I was looking on the uh, looking on the Etsy page the other day. And the Captain's Choice Ball, the Sand, I think it's called the Sandstorm. Captain's Choice. And my buddy Wes sent me that. And of course, everything else in this shave came from my buddy Josh. It's going to be like that for a long time, folks. Alrighty. So, let me just show you something on this razor I was talking about. It's like super wet. But I want to see if I can unscrew this. I screwed this thing in so tight before. The bottom, there it goes. Okay, so normally, let's see if I can show you this. This, but this. Let me actually put the stopper in my sink because I'll drop this in the sink. Normally, this little end piece here, right? This little piece here is on the other way of the razor. I'll actually take that off and show you. So normally, see, I have my little black washer in there, so I don't have metal on metal contact. Normally. The handle's this way, and this bottom piece is screwed in like that. And then it goes on the razor, you know, this way. And that's how it looked when I got it from my buddy Josh. I just flipped it around and took that bottom piece off it. Because I said, you know what, what if I turn this around and I make the taper of the handle a different way? And I can make it kind of into a barber pole. So I took the handle like this. I took the bottom piece off. And I screwed it in that way. And put it on. Wait, I'll fuzz my finger. And put it on like that. So I thought it was cool. Plus it makes the knurling a little different. And then what I did is I took my black little washer there. And I put it on the, put it on the center post. Screwed it in like so. 
Hello. There we go. Like that. And then it made it like that. Cool deal. Also, like I said, the, uh, the way that the um, cap is on this, the actual cap, bottom cap, has the... See if I could do this without slicing my hand open. See, the bottom cap has the the posts, see? And the top cap has the receiver holes right there. And that was a chroma the mom played in there today. So yeah, so the top cap has the receiver ends where the bottom cap has the little posts. And if you look at the back of the cap, you'll see that it says Razor Rock Mamba. Now, I know this Razor's been out for a while. It's just, it's new to me, so I'm excited. And what I do is I always, when I get a new Razor that's metal on metal, I take the little black washer, put it on there. So when I put the handle on, I don't have that metal to metal contact. There we go. All right. Sorry, I'm just excited about that razor. Like it says, the Mamba has been around for a while, but it's new to me thanks to my buddy Josh for sending me that. That's why this community is awesome. Wow, my face feels smooth. Now, I actually got something pretty good to go with. It's something I've had for a while. Um, which is a nice tobacco scent also. Sorry, I have itch in the nose. But it's um, Lothario Aftershave Bomb by Zingari Men. And it's uh, Bay Leaf Tobacco and Bergamot. Very nice. And it's got a great tobacco scent. I know for a fact it'll go good with this soap because I've used Lothario many times. Oh yeah, that is sweet. Perfect match. Not a perfect match scent wise, it's just it just goes nice with the scent of that soap. Oh yeah. I know some guys out there going, You're such a baby use the bombs. Put on the splash. Glenn, get the splash. I don't know. I like the Zingari bombs. Sorry. I do like splashes too, but I also do love a good bomb. All right, so that was the Lothario by Zingari Man. And of course, the soap was the Highland Spring Soap Company's Havana Vieja. Good stuff. All righty, so if you enjoyed today's shave, sorry about the rain, I know it was loud, but I enjoyed it. In fact, actually, my kids will be home soon because they only go in for a couple hours for two days and then they're virtual for the rest of the week so yeah that rain is coming down hard so if you enjoyed today's shave thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it phew, tell me i stink and uh yeah please subscribe so we can get those subscribers up to do another giveaway and until next shave which i got so many good things to show you guys in the future so glenn signing off <laughs>